Hi Libra, thank you for joining me for your April general read of 2024. As always, please do keep in mind that this is general, so it's not going to resonate for absolutely every single one of you, okay? So you only take what is resonating for you, and you leave what doesn't for someone else, okay? Right, so we are going to begin your reading by pulling you a rune of the month, and then we'll take it from there, okay? Right. Okay, uh, Libra, so it looks like you don't get a rune this month. You've got Jutenheim or Jutenheimer, okay? Um, this is giants casting long shadows and obstacles. So facing some kind of obstacle, something being made um, a little bit difficult for you. But you can see with the way that this card is illustrated that actually... It's not really an obstacle. It just feels like something is taking a little bit longer to, to come through for you or something isn't quite moving as quickly as what you would like it to. And Spirit's saying, look, that's OK, Libra. All good things in good time. OK, um, I take a look at the bottom of the deck and you've got two bars. Um, so Aries had this one and also Gemini just had this one that came out for them as well. Okay. Um, it's very Mars energy. Um, it can be like tempers flaring. Uh, you could be feeling really frustrated throughout this month because things appear to be moving slow. Um, and Spirit's saying that actually, Libra, things aren't moving slow, okay? Um, things are being perfected, all right? And that that does require oh, patience. I, I don't like using that word. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, something is going to require your patience. So try not to feel disheartened, okay? Right, so that's your strongest message. Now we're going to pull your overall energies and then we're going to start clarifying. Okay. All right. What's going on for our Libra collective, please? For the month of April 2024. Month of April 2024. Okay. Um, Libra, they're saying that there are situations that you're going to be faced with that is going to require you to really take a different approach okay they're asking for you to be flexible and adaptable and they're also saying for you not to quit not to give up okay what's going on for libra please what's going on for libra okay the moth the fish, the bat, and the lord. Hmm. Okay, changes, new beginnings, and transformations with the moth. A goal achieved, hard work ahead, and up, upstream battle. So that's your Jutenheim energy. The bat, freedom, flight, and determination, and skill, dedication, and vitality. Okay, feels like you might have set yourself a bit of an impossible task here, Libra. But you're being told, actually, it's not impossible. This is going to require clever thinking on your part in order to be successful. Okay, it is going to be an upstream battle. It is going to be something difficult. It is going to be something that challenges you to your very core. But once you have achieved whatever this is about, they're saying that you're going to feel incredibly accomplished. Okay. So remain dedicated to your cause. Definitely be flexible. They're saying that being stubborn throughout the month of April is actually going to work in your favor. <laughs> Which is strange, because normally that message doesn't come out. And I suppose there's a time and a place for everything, isn't there? You know, um, so being stubborn when it comes down to whatever this is you're trying to achieve, 
but be flexible in the way of how you get to that point. Does that make sense? And then the moth. Hmm. I feel that you're being transformed quite significantly this month, Libra. Let's take a deeper dive into this energy. See if we can get some specifics for you. What's going on for Libra, please? Oh, in fact, before we use that deck, we need to use a tea leaf. I did forget. Okay. Right, what's going on for Libra for the month of April? Okay. The tower. Solid foundation and success with effort. Yeah. So the tower in this deck is completely different from the traditional tower in tarot. That's really quite difficult to say. The traditional tarot tower. Um, this one is about firm foundations. Something is solid. Something is real. It's tangible. Whereas the, the other tower in tarot is uh, something's built on a lie or something shaky, some like disaster coming in. This one is the opposite. Okay. So I feel that you're the one that's instigating these changes you are definitely going to see success but it is going to take effort and i feel that potentially you're halfway through something here libra and you're probably questioning as to whether or not you should stop working on whatever it is that you're doing and move on to something new or if you should persevere and continue on the path that you've already chosen and spirit saying persevere with the path you've already chosen OK, that seems to be the more solid, tangible option. Now, for some of you, this is going to be about a career. And for others of you, this could be about a relationship. So you have to use your own discernment. OK, you're not going to get spoon fed. Because as a general read, it could be different for all of you. But you know what it is that you're working towards right now. You, you you already know what it's about. Spirit's telling you, persevere. It, it's going to be worth it. The result at the end of it, it's absolutely going to be worth it. Okay. I'm also hearing the word transparent. I don't know what that's about. It could be you're needing to be transparent with another individual. Or you're trying to get them to be transparent with you. Trying to get someone else to open up, maybe. Or vice versa. Someone could be trying to get you to open up. But the word transparent is coming through really heavy for you, Libra. You've got the whale <laughs> to clarify the fish. And this one says, great worry over nothing. <sighs> yeah. You're worried about something and spirit's telling you, yeah, you potentially trying to think too far ahead here with something, Libra. And the advice is basically don't do that. OK, you could end up um, scaring yourself out of persevering. Okay, again, we're going to take a deeper dive into this energy in a minute. You've got dark man, dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or dark hair. That's coming out for the bat. It could well be that, that you're the masculine that is determined or vice versa. There could be a masculine who is um, pursuing you. Again, take it as it resonates. Okay. I do feel that someone is potentially pursuing you here, Libra. And that they are very determined. They're saying as well that you're not making things easy for them. Which could well be part of your plan. You know. 
It could be part of your plan. Maybe you don't want to make something easy for this person because you could be trying to um, test their their dedication, test what it is that they're made of, test their grit type thing. You know, especially if this is a person who expects for you to invest in a life with them, you know, you're going to want to make sure that they that they're solid, basically. OK, and then the desk, pay attention to your work. Interesting. Right, I think we need to start clarifying this, Libra, so that we can get specifics. Because at the moment, the energy, it, I'm not going to lie, the energy for you is coming out really, really vague. Whereas the other readings haven't been like that. So I, I suspect that this could, I mean, it might be you being vague with someone else. And that could well be deliberate. Or someone could be being vague with you, and that could be deliberate. Again, we just don't know what way that this energy is working. Can you tell us about this moth energy? What are these changes for Libra, please? Thank you, the Queen of Wands. Okay. You could be changing up something about the way that you look here, possibly. Okay. With it being the moth and the Queen of Wands. You, you could be changing up um, your environment also, like redecorating your home or just doing something nice for yourself, like buy, buying yourself some nice new clothes, make yourself feel better, make yourself look nicer. Um, that there's some kind of change and transformation that pertains to your overall um, look. Okay, whether you're a man, woman, gender fluid doesn't make a difference. Okay, someone's saying that they that they like how you look already. They're saying that you don't need to change how you look. Can you clarify the tower, Libra, please? This solid foundation for Libra. What's this solid foundation for Libra? The Eight of Coins. Huh. Eight of Coins, Five of Cups, Five of Coins, another five, Five of Swords, and then Strength. Three Fives. Huh. Okay, Libra. Again. I don't know if this is your energy or someone else's energy towards you, okay? So I'm going to say somebody, you can fill in the blanks, right? If you're not resonating with this energy, then you, you can be rest assured that that's clearly someone else's energy towards you instead that you might not know about, okay? <clears throat> See with these three fives. That's really difficult energies, okay? Fives are disruptive and difficult energy, but the fact that you've got three of them here that's back to back with each other, it tells me a story of how someone, again, remember what I said about the word someone, someone felt useless, someone felt like they weren't good enough, someone felt like they were being compared to others and falling short, okay? Someone made another person feel this way about themselves. And whoever was made to feel that way about themselves has gone out and they've done that inner work on themselves and now they're looking at doing the outer work on themselves. I'm also hearing as well that someone's getting themselves a new tattoo to kind of almost hallmark this story here to hallmark their journey that they've been through. Strength, an eight of coins, bookending that energy. Hard work, dedication, working on themselves, and not, not surrendering, not backing down, not giving up. And in this deck is the symbol of protection. I very much suspect that this could well be you, Libra. Someone made you feel absolutely shit about yourself. Absolutely shit about yourself. I'm getting nagging. It's 
someone was pro probably nagging at you. Being a billy. Making you feel like you, you had to change certain physical things about yourself says, says that you would be accepted which isn't fair it's not right and it's not fair you only do this on yourself when it's your choice to do that on yourself not because someone else has made you feel like you've no other choice do you know what i mean i've i have absolutely nothing against people making physical changes to themselves nothing against it at all trust me if i had the money and the time i'd do the fucking same like i would do everything from from head to toe like for real I'd have all the cosmetic surgery, like, w without a question, okay? I have absolutely nothing against people who are wanting to make physical changes and adjustments to themselves, okay? I say, look, each to their own, as long as everyone's happy, who gives a fuck? But the fact is, someone has been wanting to do that to themselves because another person made them feel like this. The cards literally speak for themselves, don't they? Now that is the worst reason ever to make changes to yourself. The worst reason ever. So as long as you're not coming from that place, go right ahead. Do, do whatever you want to yourself to make changes. As long as it's not coming from this place. As long as it's coming from a place of there. Okay. I need to clarify this energy. What's going on with these three fives for Libra? What's going on with these three fives for Libra, please? The Hermit. Yeah. Yeah, do it for you, Libra. Spirit saying, do it for you. If you're going to do anything drastic to yourself, do it for you, not for someone else. Okay, the hermit, soul searching, introspection. Mm hmm. Tell us, thank you. Yeah, look, the Empress off balance. It's divine feminine energy is coming out off balance. It's also one of your cards, Libra. So this is you. Someone made you feel that way about yourself. Someone made you feel worthless, horrible, ugly, useless, pointless. Someone made you feel that way about yourself. Straight up. How dare they? Listen. You see, when other people make you feel that way about yourself, what they're actually doing is they're telling you who, you who they are as a person. And they're not actually saying anything about you at all, Libra. Nobody has got the right to do that to another person, ever. And make them feel like they have to go out and have all of this stuff done to themselves so that then they'll be acceptable or desirable. Queen of Wands. No one's got the right to do that to someone else. Someone here has been body shamed, sh straight up, straight up body shamed. And that is not right. Someone has taken another person's divine feminine energy and they, they have, <sighs> oh, I, I can't even speak properly right now, Libra. That, that, uh, it, it upsets me. It genuinely does upset me that someone's done that to another person. However, the positive of this is we've got, you, you've you realized, actually, you have realized um, that that's not the bits that, that were needing changed. What was needing changed was your association with people like that. That's what was needing changed. Um, doing that inner work on yourself, which I can see clearly you have been doing. And I'm feeling that this energy is actually you having a bit of a glow up. And that's your solid foundation. It's like, yeah, 
do you know what? I used to listen to people like that. I used to feel really... Uh, how, how do I explain it? Low about myself because of other people making me feel that way. But you know what? Since I've done that inner work, I'm feeling stronger than ever. I'm feeling better than ever. I'm feeling confident, more confident than ever. I, f I feel that this is your glow up. And because you've had that glow up internally, like we've already spoken about, you're now kind of like memorializing that almost with maybe a tattoo or something. <laughs> I, I don't know. that This energy is quite intense. Um, can you clarify the... What, what is the great worry over nothing? Calibra, thank you. Four of swords in the world. What's under there? The nine of wands. That's your boundaries. That's blocking something out as well. I feel that someone has been taking you for granted or someone did take you for granted. Took advantage of you here. Because you, you've had to either put up your boundaries with someone or you've had to block someone. And I, f I feel it's block. You've had to block someone. You, you've had to exclude a certain someone out of your life. But the thing is, Libra, they're, they're watching as you're going through this glow up as well. Okay. Great worry over nothing in the world. That's old cycles coming to an end. This is also something's working out in your favor here, Libra. Okay, and I, I do feel that this is, this one, I'm feeling like career type energy here for you. It's like, yeah, th there's hard work ahead for you to reach your specific career goals, but it's going to be worth it. So, so don't worry about it because something's coming through for you here, Libra, and it's really going to, like, it's tangible. Again, I'm getting that word tangible. Uh, something's going to be made really obvious to you that you've already succeeded and that you're already a success. Do you know what I mean? It's almost like you need just a little bit of a gentle reassurance here. What's going on with this dark man for Libra, please? What's going on with this dark man for Libra? Thank you. Okay. Oh. Oh. Eight of Wands off balance and the Queen of Swords. They, you've had problems with this individual. This energy here, you've had problems with them. This is probably the one that made you feel a certain kind of way about yourself, like you weren't good enough. This is the one who used you, the one who took advantage of you. This is the one that you had to fight to, to reclaim your freedom and independence from this individual. This is a little shit. Whether it's a man or a woman, doesn't matter, okay? It's a masculine energy. It, it could be a woman that just has a lot of masculine energy to them. Uh, regardless, this, this is a little shit. This is a little shit that made you feel that way. Do you know what they're doing, Libra? take a guess take a guess libra they're they're trying to come back to you because they've witnessed you've had this glow up here they've seen all of the improvements that that you've made on yourself and i'm not speaking physical here or i'm not strictly speaking physical here i'm speaking more of your confidence levels that in in terms of a glow up your confidence levels and they're like that, fuck, Libra's doing good. Wow, look, look at everything that Libra's been achieving here. And they're trying to come back in. Queen of Swords, you've been advised against it. This is one of your cards, Libra, Queen of Swords. You've got a Queen of Swords there, ass. If you've already got this person on block, keep them on block. They're saying for you to be smart about it, okay? This energy is pursuing you. This person is pursuing you. For definite. For definite. Can you tell us about the um, the Lord and the desk? Please, for Libra. 
pay attention to your work. I feel that saying, Libra, pay attention to everything that, that um, all of the hard work that you've put in on yourself. You don't want to be wasting it on someone like that. I feel that's what that, 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 that is what that's saying. Yeah, look. Man, that's crazy. Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Wheel of Fortune, the Magician, the Lovers, the Ten of Coins, the Seven of Coins, and the Six of Cups. I'm wondering at this juncture, Libra, if you've become involved in a new individual with that Lord energy and why Spirit's saying pay, pay attention to your work. That's like pay attention to what you've currently got going on because look, you've got Wheel of Fortune, which is good fate, karma, destiny and the magician. It's all about how you have manifested good things and positivity in your life a connection a romantic situation there with the lovers ace of wands off balance yeah false start that's jealousy i'm getting jealousy this energy here is jealous of this lord energy this lord energy is someone new that you're currently dealing with or very soon will be dealing with and Spirit's saying for you to be focused on the new energy, the new connection. Ten of coins, seven of coins, because that's really going to go places. That That's the connection that's going to go somewhere. Th this, is trying to, this energy here is trying to sabotage what you've got going on there. Can you tell us more about the Lord? Thank you. Yeah, the devil off balance. Let's see. This person is absolutely obsessed with you and what you're doing, who you're involved with. I feel that this individual here is also bad mouthing the new person that you're dealing with. Bad mouthing them, making out that they're trouble, that they're this, that that they're this, that and the next. Queen of Wands in reverse and the King of Cups off balance, yeah. Very, very jealous, very emotionally unavailable. A Queen of Wands reversed. Again, look, someone who made you feel like you weren't good enough. They're, they're still up to their old tricks there. Seven of Cups. Oh, it's just a mess. That person is a mess. If you're dealing with someone new, that person is severely jealous of the someone new that you're dealing with. Severely jealous. They're probably going to come back in and start nagging at you again. So keep them on block. Okay. Last quarter moon in Pisces. Talk less and feel more. Okay. So with the new individual... You can let them get close, okay? They're not going to treat you the way that the that the last person treated you. It is someone that you can trust. It is someone that you can let in. Yeah, mind that message about transparency. Talk less, feel more. The new person is wanting for you to be uh, more transparent with them. Your spirit guide can lead you, but can't do it for you. That's been coming out for quite a lot of people this month, Libra. Okay, it's spirit saying, look, we are divinely guiding and protecting you. We can show you the way, but we can't do it on your behalf. Okay, so again, something requires a little bit more effort. And then you've got universal love is true love. So love all. Yeah. The best that you can do in this situation, Libra, is to send that horrible person as much love as what you can possibly muster and send them on their way. Okay. Ultimately, you need to keep in mind that they tried to make you feel as shitty and insecure about yourself as possible because of their own low self-esteem. That's, that's why they did that to you. It was their own low self-esteem 
Because truth be told, Libra, they couldn't quite believe their luck that you'd be interested in them in the first place. And then their twisted head turned that around as if they were doing you a favor by being with you. That's abuse. That's abuse. That is an abuser. Simple as. Okay, um, so for this last deck, Libra, I do need to warn you, it can be quite sweaty and sarcastic. So obviously, if that's not your sort of thing, then you don't have to listen. Okay, um, I just like to use naughty decks at the end of the read because sometimes it can make people laugh and laughter is a very high vibration. Okay, um, don't take any lifestyle advice from this deck because it's a little bit too sarcastic, okay? It's not meant for lifestyle advice, it's just meant for a laugh, okay? Release your inner shame. Well, yeah, that's good advice there. For example, that bag of pizza rolls that you ate last night. <laughs> okay, so I do need to leave that one there. Um, yeah, thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to go check out your other signs and the daily readings as well, okay? If you feel that you need a personal reading that is catered more towards your own specific needs, then I am taking bookings on my website, which is phoenixkiatarot.com. The link for that is in my description box below. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.